Ooh, look, crazy underground lair lab. Uh, well, finally got the bushing from my control arm out. I took the most labor-intensive way, cut it into two pieces. There's the bushing, two pieces. There's the metal sleeve, two pieces. Uh, what I actually did was take a drill and drill through the rubber. And then finally, once I had enough of it drilled through, I took my sawzall or reciprocating saw and cut through the metal sleeve. Be careful, I marred it just a tiny bit right there. So, and that vice hammer, well, that's how you do it. Now it's time for me to clean up and I'll put the power flux bushings in. Alright, I'm back outside and as you can see I've coated my bushings with grease and my sleeve with grease. This is the grease I'm using, mobile one, just a regular synthetic grease. Um, Powerflex gives you this little packet of copper uh, grease and I'm going to use that on my metal sleeve and inside there. I'm doing this all very liberally just so I don't get any squeaks later on. Alright, thanks for watching. Ta-da! It's all assembled. Copper grease in the sleeve. The mobile one grease everywhere else. Um, on the bottom too. It all just presses right in. So use your hands, smack it a few times. If you, I had to use a little rubber mallet just to get this metal sleeve in. But that's it. Very simple installation for PowerFlex. And the best part about this, the reason why I'm using it, it's stiffer than OEM, that's one reason. The second reason, since there's no metal sleeve, this can actually rotate within this the control arm sleeve. So the bushing does not need the fancy BMW torque method of 150 pounds in each front seat, then 125 in the rear seats, then 45 pounds in the trunk, and then a full got tank of gas. Load all that in the car, put the car on the wheels, and then you can torque, you can just torque this right away. Alright, thanks for watching. So lots of work later, and this is finally completed. As you can see, and links are buttoned up, ball joint is in and torqued right there. Uh, the pinch is back to its original position. A uh, sway bar bracket installed and torqued. And finally, what I've been working on there is my powerflex bushings. Both washers in. It took a lot of fuss to get that in. Uh, it's a very tight fit. And there's the bolt. And well, there you go. This side is completed. Oh, I said I'd do torque specs, so here they are. As soon as that goes in. Pinch bolt is 60 foot pounds, ball joint is 59 foot pounds. Uh, the bushing, the power flex bushing bolt is 81 foot pounds. Wheel nut is 89, of course. Sway bar bracket is 18 foot pounds. The end link I don't have, I just snugged it up really well. And well, that's all there is short video just for you guys. Thanks. Well, it's done. I gotta drive it off the ramps first and then you guys will s go for a ride with me and see if any catastrophic failures happen and well, there you go. Alright, here you go guys. After much wait, uh, I got the power flex bushings installed. Car drove around. I have about 10 miles on them so far. Found an empty parking lot. Well, I mean, I don't notice a difference. There's no shimmy anymore at 50 miles an hour. I guess that's a plus. But really, I can't really tell a big difference. No, uh, noise, vibration, harshness, no. Nothing, it's not extra. There's the inside of the car. And there's my uh, back seat. Yep. I mean, I guess I can do a little video on me driving. I have 128,757 miles on the car. The 
battery died, so I actually had to charge it all night. 